Hello, my name is Jamie Brand with 360 Yield Center. Just wanted to follow up with uh, with one of our products from this fall uh, that we're actually in year number two is our 360 chain roll. And a lot of you that have been to Proving Grounds and different things have heard me talk about 360 chain roll. It's very near and dear to me just as far as residue management. Uh, from being in seed for the last 15 years, there was nothing better than to go out and see those kernels or those, those uh, seedlings come up uniformly knowing that we set the stage for that crop. And so a lot of cases in those situations we saw residue uh, becoming an issue. Um, we saw residue that was either so large um, that it just wouldn't break down and wouldn't get out of the way of getting in the way of a seedling to the fact that we would go to, uh, to the type of a head that would actually confetti that or chop that and we'd be blowing this residue around and then we'd have small pieces we couldn't manage. And you've heard us talk a lot about that. How can we size residue but still be able to manage it with a row cleaner and not move it off target when we get a windstorm. And so as we look at in the field, we've had another good fall, another good run of crimping and, and sizing of the residue. Uh, this is really what we're looking at. This is some pieces basically that you can see right here where we're able to come in. We've already started to see some degradation of that into this piece. Right here is a row of 360 chain roll. Uh, you'll see a very clean top cut. Um, we'll have a lot of pieces here that continue to just be opened up, doing the things that we want them to be doing. Um, more pieces here of just being able to come in, serrate, we're starting to turn them black. As we look on this side, this is a, just a standard intermeshing roll. And as we start to look at these pieces, we've got a lot larger pieces. As we start looking at, at other pieces, we basically serrated them or we've crimped them, we've fingerprinted them, but we really haven't got ourselves into a situation to where we have got basically the ability to start this residue breaking down. And so the biggest thing for me is this is what it looks like uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Um, as I followed this through uh, last year with our 360 chain rolls, yeah, we're, you know, is it compelling right now? I think the more you're out, the more compelling it is as you move into spring and you start to plant into this residue, you start to see the plantability differences, and then as we start getting into May and June and we start seeing moisture and warmth, we start to see this residue really take off. And as we continue to, to push plant health, as we continue to push yield, these corn heads have a tremendous amount of residue and a tremendous amount of opportunity to start that residue off on the right foot. And so, again, just wanted to follow up on 360 chain roll. Uh, another really good year of just agronomic um, uh, residue management in the field and we're just able to continually see us be able to do more with that combine head to be able to make that sizing number one um, then if you're in a tillage situation that ripper um, would be sizing number two um, in a no-till situation we have a significant amount more of, uh, of degradation when the planter goes through those mounds between the rows really melt as we get into season after the soybeans would be planted into this. Strip tilling is becoming more of a uh, popular practice uh, which goes right along around nutrient efficiency and nutrient placement. So 360 chain roll plays a key role in that. And uh, again, we're ramping up production for the fall of 2017 as we continue to, uh, to want to offer this as a residue manager for your corn head.